When Peter of Waves and Games was doing a live stream of his playthrough for Ocarina of Time, he was collecting people's stories and memories of the game. I enjoyed sharing mine and decided to put it to some fun, wonky AI art. Enjoy! When the Nintendo 64 dropped, I had zero interest in it as I was a Squaresoft boy through and through and thus followed my RPG makers over to the Sony PlayStation. Sure, I was intrigued by Mario 64 and of course Mario Kart 64, but it wasn't until Ocarina of Time came along that Nintendo properly baited me with Zelda and reeled me in. Ocarina of Time was the first game I'd seen a trailer or two played before a movie in a theater, so, you know, big, larger than life screen. My pal Jason and I went in halvesies to buy an N64 solely for the purpose of Ocarina of Time. The day we picked it up, we got the console, the game, a memory card, and the guidebook, so we were set. The next few weeks were thrilling, as we worked alternate shifts, meaning we played it solo on our own time, but relished in sharing stories whenever we could about our experiences. The vastness of Hyrule Field when we first left the Kokiri behind, the trials of sneaking into the castle, the first time we became adult Link and began truly deep diving into the mysteries of Death Mountain, Lake Hylia, and on. It was fun trying not to spoil certain elements like Dark Link for one another, but wording things in a way to see if the other had gotten to that part yet. Ocarina of Time was literally a console seller for me, but more, its very thought invokes a song of time to take me back to the memories of my now gone best friend and brother of whom I shared Link's glorious 3D adventure with.